For today's project, I'm going to be building a portable charging station in a box. For this project, we are going to need, of course, our case, our surge protector, some drill bits, a drill, heat gun, some alcohol, VHB tape, soldering heat shrink connectors, crimper, electrical wire cutter, some snips. And of course, I will try to do my best to link as much of this stuff in the video description below if you want to check it out for yourself. Today's video was sponsored by Das Hoth Photo and DasHothPhoto.com. If you're looking to purchase fine art prints on wall art such as canvas, metal, or acrylic, or if you're looking for something like stationery, coffee mugs, or home decor, and you want to support a local area photographer, then check out DasHothPhoto.com. So starting off, this is a Pelican Storm Case. Uh, it's a M2400 series. This is a, probably the perfect size for what I want to fit in here. And of course, these are all the things, all my chargers of various items that I would like to have in this box so I can just have one box where I can plug the box in and have all my chargers in here to plug in batteries for you know, my Milwaukee tools, my camera, drone, um, batteries, battery packs, you know, GoPro batteries, gimbal battery, every battery that I have that I want to be able to take with me on the go. So the first thing we're going to need to do is install our surge protector. Now this one I got off Amazon of course. It has seven outlets and three USBs. I wanted one with some USBs. Um, even though I'm going to need more than three, I'll just run the rest of them off the sockets. And seven sockets is a lot. I figured I would just get one that had more sockets than I need just in case in the future, you know, I'll have extra if I needed them. I'm going to mount this right about here. Now, to get the cable out, I'm going to drill a hole down in this corner. And instead of drilling a hole big enough to fit this entire plug through, I'm going to cut the cable, run it through, and then we'll reattach the cable with the, uh, the soldering heat shriek wrap. my wires prepped <clears throat> and before I rejoin these wires I'm going to place uh, uh, some heat shrink tubing over all three wires so once we join these yes so once we join these I'll just slide this heat shrink tube in and cover everything back up and make it look nice in order to join these wires back together I'm using these and this is actually the first time that I've used something like this it's these uh, little heat shrink tubing pieces with solder in the middle. So basically, Remy, stop. Mm. So basically, you put both ends of the wire up until that silver piece. Abram, hey, you want to get back? And then you just put a heat gun on it. It melts the solder, soldering the wires together, and also puts a uh, waterproof um, heat shrink tubing all at the same time. So we'll see how that works. I have here a 3 8 inch drill bit and we are just going to put this bad boy Right in the corner here. So the 3 8 inch hole is just big enough to fit the wire. It's actually really snug so that'll kind of give it 
some level of, of protection for dust and whatnot. Now that I have the cable pulled through, I'm going to put my heat shrink back on. And let's connect these wires. So I let it cool down for a couple minutes and I tugged on it and the connection actually feels a lot stronger now. Um, strong enough to where I'm comfortable with where it's at. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other two wires. Okay, everything's cooled down. Give these a tug. They seem pretty dang secure. Um, I'm actually pretty impressed with these little all-in-one solder heat shrink wrappings. Um, looks like they work pretty good. I got her plugged up. Let's give her some power. So I'll turn the switch on. I don't know if you can see that. There's two tiny little LEDs. So she's got power. Everything's good to go. Let's get these covered up and we'll get her mounted in place. Okay, let's give her a wipe down with some alcohol and then we'll start positioning stuff to mount. So this charger, the box I want to be able to, for things to sit right, um, both laying flat and if I had the lid closed and it's sitting up um, for everything to be sitting right. So I'm going to put this guy in this corner here, kind of fill it out this way. Yo, this is about to really hurt some people's feelings, so if you a little sensitive, you might as well turn this joint off right now. How you afraid to drop a dime when you already dropped a dime? Got a wife at home, but you steady on my line. Talking about shorty, you remember when I grind slow? Did I really, did I really blow your mind though? Nah, you got me confused with your other booze. I've been peeping game, so I never gave a cookie up. And that's why I got your wife on the line, man. And I hope she gets every single diamond ring. Niggas kill me, they put their fist up. Got you all thinking that they meant other people. All on the stage like they motivational speakers. When really, they just a one creepers. You pushing 40 with an 18 year old shorty Oh you think you lit cause you ride around with All the hot sisters and fly mama seekers Well I ain't on your payroll so let me shoot the shit They ain't laughing with you, they all laughing at you Cause you're that old and afraid of commitment Everybody in the world know that ain't no G shit Don't get mad at 
me, your life is kind of sad, B. Now this next jab is for my saints and ants. My Holy Ghost filled fire baptized believers. Stop looking down at me, I'm not an evil heathen. I'm 24 years old and never sold my soul. I went to college to get more knowledge. I up my pedigree by fixing my credit B. I went across the stage and got my degree. I'm in the middle of my prom with a full-time job. I stay prayed up, not later with a man that all my kids call Uncle Fred. I'm not on the front pew with my legs wide open. Trying to get a preacher a sip of my ocean. I might curse a bit, but that don't mean I'm not anointed, appointed, or chosen. For this here time, I don't want what you got. I only want what's mine. This right here is for you that crossed the line. All up in the club screaming, damn, she mighty fine. Walking up to me, trying to cop a feel. Whisper in my ear, talking about your million dollars. Nah, that's cap, you got a million baby mamas. And Jazzy walked away, cause she ain't even about the drama. Don't ever in your life try to put your hands on me. I know hood niggas in the trap that'll split you like a Kit Kat to show up to your wake like who did that? I have them throw you over the Escalades and Broadway Junction for your sick escapades. How do you fix your crusty ass lips to say that a black woman ain't beautiful? Now put all the dirt built around your thick ass cuticle. Give a damn about whose box you keep listening when you don't even have one pot to piss in. Nah, son, you don't even have one. Who said that? Everybody. <laughs> I don't even want to be petty, but y'all know I'm a tourist, right? Y'all done brung the bull out, so it's hard for me to calm down now. Here we go. Jip, jip, jealous of your situation, nigga, how you figure? I've been stacking chips, trying to make six figures. Trying to do the right thing, keep my hand up off the trigger. If you want that snow bun, need to go get her. Cause I ain't worried about it. Let's sue Susie and Sally and them. Worry about your mess. I promise I'll be good. Cause Jazzy stay blessed. I've been working hard, ain't got no time for the stress. Maybe all written, but all these punchlines and real hard lines, best believe they all mine. Real rap, no cap, straight facts. When your girl blows, please don't holler back. Keep that same energy and fall all the way back. All the way back. Lean back. <laughs> Okay, so I have everything mounted where I want it, all my chargers. Now I still have some things in here that I'm going to charge that don't necessarily have a charger. They just plug right in with the cords. So I got some empty space to just plug those in and let them lay here. Now uh, I guess it's time to do uh, some cable management. Okay, so I have all my chargers mounted and plugged in. I have all the cables run. Probably put a couple more zip ties here and here. But that's everything. And now I have this empty space and I still have two USBs over here and three USBs right here. So I'm just going to plug in some cables. So I can just plug in my other devices that I have that don't have a dedicated charger to just plug in with charge with uh, USB and that'll be it.
I think it uh, turned out pretty good. I like the way it's set up. There's plenty of space and everything's mounted appropriately and everything's out of the way. So now I have four extra USB-C's and then two extra micro USB's for all other accessories. And that's it. Boom. Well, that's it, guys. I got everything buttoned up here. Um, my Milwaukee battery chargers. I got my drone batteries up top here. Radios, gimbal batteries, GoPro, camera batteries. I got my mics uh, charging there. And I still got some space left over for whatever else I want to plug in here and charge it up. Just toss it in the box. And I'm really excited to use this. It's, it's the idea of just having a box with everything in it. I can just grab and go, and I know that I'll have everything I need. Um, I'm pumped for it. So this should help me out a lot on our, our trips and our adventures while we're out there. So anyway, if you like this project, give it a thumbs up. We really appreciate it. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And don't forget to check out our sponsor, Das Hoth Photo.